Houston Rockets prepare for their final road game before the All-Star break, looking to snap the 13-game home court winning streak of the 35-24 Minnesota Timberwolves. James in that win over Minnesota was just 3 of 15 from the floor and had but 10 points. Drops it off the cliff, hey, down the lane, through traffic, oh. it drops. And he'll shoot one. Hart drops it off again to Clint and one. Another continuation. Hart drives, got the foul all the way to the basket. That will count the goaltend. As Towns pinned it on the glass, and James Harden is finally off to Schneid, and he'll shoot one. Harden lobs it to Nene. Well, that was the only way to get it to him. James with a very creative pass, but he doesn't throw Nene very many lobs. Last nine minutes, the Rockets have outscored the T-Wolves 23 to seven. Harden over Gibson. That's his first make from downtown. The Rockets after trailing by 13, led by nine. After they started the quarter on a 22 to five run, Harden to the hole. Got by the initial defender and then finished by Towns who came late and may have gotten just a tad bit of that ball, but Harden now with seven points after the slow beginning. And the team easily all the way to the hole. James Harden off of the corner. P.J. Tucker squeezes it off. That's pretty easy basketball. Two passes and a wide open three. Corner three for James Harden. And he knocks it down. Second made three for James. He now has ten. Harden from Lake Minnetonka. <laughs> Deflected out of Wiggins' hands. Two on one the other way. Hard and Paul. Timeout Minnesota. Butler into the paint. He misses the easy one. There is a lid on that basket for the Timberwolves. Hard no look Bamute for the deuce. How does Harden see Bamute running on the side there? Harden has got unbelievable court vision. Nene gave the Rockets some real good minutes. In the first half of the Rockets bench, destroyed the bench of the Wolves. Anderson resets, knocks down another three, his second of the ball game. I think it's fair to say that the Rockets bench this season has not been as effective as most people thought it was going to be coming into the year. But I think a lot of that has to do with the fact that they've had so many injuries as hard. Knocks it down over the top of Butler. They just, they've had guys in and out of the lineup so very often. Yep. And guys off the bench moved into the starting line. But I think that's had a lot to do with the fact that the Rockets bench hasn't been quite as good as most people thought they would be. But I think when healthy, there is no question the Rockets bench is one of the deepest in the league. And now they've added Brandon Wright. He's not here tonight, but he will be with the team shortly. Offered with his first basket, yeah. now one of seven. And you're right about that. Is the, the bench has been the depth that's kept the Rockets uh, in it with all the injuries. And another three for Eric Gordon. James Hart, the Rockets' leading scorer with 17. Back to Anderson. Thought about it. Now he will take it. Ryan Anderson, what a fourth quarter. Anderson, heat check. Oh, my goodness. Ryan Anderson just knocked down another three here in the fourth quarter, his fourth. And he's got 21. Anderson wants it. Another deep one. Just a little bit long. Offensive rebound to Paul. No looks off in the corner. Tucker, he knocks it down. And even when Ryan misses a three, his teammates know he's going to let it fly, and they go after that offensive rebound. And since he's so far behind a three-point line, a lot of those offensive rebounds are ones that you can get. Harden for three. Right on cue. 19 of them tonight. Timeout, Minnesota. Hard into the paint. Fouled and won. And that's against Carl Anthony Towns. Harden for three. Good gracious. And you know, noted philosopher Donatus Motiunas once said, if you're afraid of wolves, don't go in the woods. And Hart rattles in the triple. That's number six for the beard. That's 32 for James Harden, 25 of which have come in the second half.